Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to just take a quick look at the small self-warding pots from Aspen Home and Garden. Okay, um, some background. I, uh, the company didn't send me these to review. I actually bought them. Uh, I like these type systems and I've never seen any that are uh, this small before. So these I got on Amazon and there are a bunch of different brands selling similar type systems and these uh they're a little pricey for what they for the for the size and everything but i think they're like 30 dollars for, for four and there's like a like a clickable coupon or six dollars something off but i'll put a link in the description where you can you can take a look and there's probably there's several others that are very similar varying price ranges but it's basically a sub irrigated planter like the um like the earth box um the grow bucket inserts with the five gallon buckets the diy bucket and bucket setups i've done it's the same exact principle, but it's just on a really small scale. So um, it's got, you know, an insert. Let me show you close up. So it's got a, like a little um, fill tube assembly. And this is the, the main container. It's about five and a half inch diameter. And this is a little grow insert. Uh, this is where the little, actually this is not, uh, this is more of the uh, water level indicator, sorry. This is where you, where you fill and you can see it's got an aeration screen on the bottom and notice these uh, extensions here. Potting mix, basically you pack your potting mix down into those and see the hole in the slots. What happens is when you have nutrients there, that's going to wick up through the potting mix that's down in here, and and the plant will draw up what it needs from the bottom, and and the aeration screen is assuming you don't overfill it, will allow some oxygen to get to the roots through the potting media, so. It's exactly like the bigger ones. It's just a small version. It's a sub-irrigated planter. But I thought it was pretty cool looking and I wanted to try it out. So I'll show you quickly how it goes together. Uh, it's a little different. I'll show this when I put the, the water level indicator together. A little different from a lot of the bigger ones, which will have overflow holes so you can't overfill. This one has the water level indicator, so you just have to watch that when you fill so you don't overfill it. But uh, yeah, so let's put that together. It's got a little guide to show you how to assemble it. It's pretty much it. So yeah, so it comes with four sets in the box. That's important. Okay, so yeah, so you start out like this. Drop the little star foam ball down in there. Take this, put that in next. And then this goes over top. And it's got some little, like, you can kind of see like these, like a, I guess a counter or some, it's some way to measure something and I don't think it's really practical because it's so tiny you can't really see it. But anyway, that's on there. But it doesn't matter. So um, yes, yeah, so as the water gets filled, this will gradually go up, and you just have to pay attention to the uh, max fill line, and it gives you the optimum range to keep your level at. And that goes underneath here. And then this goes inside the main part. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I've got, so it comes with four, there's three in here. I've got one already set up. I put a, a tie plant in it because I think, I mean, they can get big, but I think in something like this, whatever you put, it's going to stay relatively small just because there's not a lot of room for root growth. But uh, with like peppers, uh, it should encourage earlier fruiting so you kind of keep a smaller plant, but you get peppers on it earlier. Uh, so uh, I'll probably do some like that with small peppers and maybe some herbs, but um, 
but I really like how it looks. It's looks it's pretty cool. So let me show you the uh, one that I've got set up and how the the fuel part works. Okay, so I've got it just kind of sitting here next to my air garden. Yes, yeah, a little tie plant, and I'm just using uh, cocoa perlite mix, which is actually I'm not mix my own, but I just kind of um, this year I'm just I bought a bunch of this. It's already mixed. It's 70 percent cocoa core, 30 percent perlite. It just uh, I like it. Uh, but anyway, I, sometimes I mix mix it myself. But, uh, but anyway, so yes, yeah, is a, just a tie plant and Notice the water level indicator, and I'm pouring hydroponic nutrients. I'm just going to add that much. This is uh, some Maxi Grow that I mix. That's what I'm feeding it. So yeah, you just pay attention when that starts to drop down. You add a little bit more. So I'm not sure how thin you have to fill it once it starts growing a lot, but uh, probably no more on scale than you would the larger systems. All right, so that's the, uh, the self-warding pots from Aspen, Aspen Home and Garden. So uh, anyway, I hope you like that. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.